Goes here out right in the start. Creamy John's excellent start here, but Sin right behind actually when P4 having a blistering start, but I had to actually slow down a little bit to pretty much uh, Chaz uh, is the victim of, I guess, this uh, turn one uh, fiasco, I guess you could say. So fortunately he's gonna be in the back. Hopefully he doesn't get any- Taking it easy, I think at the moment. I wanna see the checkered flag, obviously for the penultimate round this season. Yeah, As and uh, the reigning, the current champion already jumped in four positions. Uh, Lawrence himself and also uh, Fluffy Day. So you just got to play that patient game as we're seeing Chaz boxing, no doubt, probably replacing a front wing. Yeah, it's very unfortunate for Chaz. So the, the best way you can do now is just, you know, whip out the hard tires, which he does. And pretty much the, play the best way you can do now is just, you know, whip out the hard tires, which he does and pretty much play the long game. And uh, it, I think out, in my opinion, I uh, oh, usually win. Max like, Beast! A little bit too much max speed coming around the corner through the uh, <laughs> Casino de Lago, and that's uh, a bit like of usually when you're in these circumstances where you end up spinning out. And oh no, max speed un unfortunately spins out once again. Hopefully, it doesn't give him a penalty here. Codemasters, no, yeah, he, he called it. He won't get it here, but he'll get it on the next part. Well, obviously, Godzilla might get it, but he's ahead now of the Haas and up at a P6. Yeah, Getsham was Virtual also safety car because Shia B actually DNF'd in sector three. I'm not sure what happened there. I will, hopefully, I wish I can see what oh, happened. Oh, it's to but the yeah, right-hand side. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. In terms of He's strategy, not. he is uh, usually the main person to decide. Usually, people tend to react to what the leading driver does. He's boxing. Pitting. And, yep, he is going into the box. But uh, Perpetual Rain stayed out. Double Live T's boxing. Sin stayed out. And Stoney. Well, pretty so much a slow, colder tire start, so no one can overtake him here. But yeah, there you go. Now he starts. Sin was pretty much not prepared of his racing start here and Perpetual Rain pretty much gains a whole second from there, but look at- It was also sniffing a part of this party already. As we don't have any DRS activation, get some, get some well, a time penalty, we'll worry about all that a little bit later, the double OT and get some, uh, get some really going for it. Thick yeah. and fast as a climb up through the hill, my friend. Look at this. Yeah, and get some are out here in this race. Look. Double OT is actually struggling a little bit here into the exit of starting of sector three here and it's gonna be a potentially three wide once uh the drs detection activator Actually activates very it. slow off this off this lap here and goes from the inside but he has to go a little bit too wide but gets him as well but yeah kimmy john's actually slowed down a little bit here into the race uh, but mm. the reason being, oh, actually, Ferraris. Red Hornet also went well, wide. He's losing Man, quite a Red bit. Red Hornet's uh, speed has pretty much dropped off considerably. I think it's because of the wear of the soft compound tires. But, oh, and there's actually a DNF from Mach Speed here. There might be a safety car popping up here. Oh, there's a VSC. We'll see. Yep, there's a full, there's a full force yeah, caution. Fernando there. Alonso almost, died. like, a massive, had a massive accident with Mark Webber back in the day. Mark, yeah. Webber, Mark Webber crashed out. Fernando Alonso hit Mark Webber's tire, I think, that was on the track there. Down that main straight, that's 325 oh kilometers now. There's the car. Much wow. of a gap as possible from Chaz, and he actually obtains it here. Goes blistering into the start. Perpetual rain right behind him here. Hill, and that's fantastic. Get Junko, perfect. That's the one, isn't it? Junko, the junction, and then climb your way up the hill without the DRS, but it's possible overtaking here now in the slipstream. Speed to Chaz here. I think they're, he's going to do the pass here onto the turn one. Oh! oh and there's unfortunately contact there. Oh! Here to pretty much try to pass Sean Moriarty, but Sean Moriarty pretty much stays in the middle of the track enough to pretty much be able to defend both sides. But it might not be enough here as the DRS does get enabled here, but Sean does also get DRS. So we'll see how it goes between these two drivers. It's not enough, is it? It's not enough. Yeah, it's not enough. But these guys are back to the planet Earth, back to Brazil. Look at that. Look at the run from Perpetual yeah. Rain on the outside. Can he make it stick? Okay. Yeah, he's going to make it stick for sure, just due to the tire wear that Double OT has. He does have he's the... Not, oh, he's not breaking for the corner. He's going for it. Oh. Fully said, my friend. He's a Daniel Ricciardo. He's looking at the stamp and said, if he doesn't, Sean Monorati's catching this party. He'll go on board of Sean. So we can see this in a second, it's actually, to the yeah, inside. Sir. Yeah, he does get it here. Double OTs in a, might be a little bit, have to be careful. I think he's going to have to use a little bit of ERS to try to get ahead, but no, he enables it. Not enough. Sean Moriarty pretty much has him. Down that short little back straight there into Casino uh, into, into, into de Lago. Fluffy Dave just up ahead. Creamy Joms, double OT. A little bit further up the road there, Sean. And that's the battle currently you need to be watching. 
Can Creamy Johns get yeah. double over T? Well, up ahead, you can see once again Sean. All right. Is he here? I think he got him here this time. Yep. It seems like he does get oh. a win. And oh no, Sin originally hits the wall, gets the retirement there. But it's very unfortunate. Is it going to bring a full course caution? It does. 16 laps left. Again. Let's get let's get it party. Let's get the party started here in, in the jungle of Brazil. Yeah, I wonder. Right now, it's just a matter of reacting properly to uh, Cody Lawrence's restart. And actually, Sean got a pretty good restart reaction. Cody Lawrence's restart here doesn't lose any time at all with the medium compound tires, but does get a little bit of a bad exit here just because I think uh, due to the cold tires that he might have. But they should be up to temperature now in the next couple of corners here, and we'll be back on catching Shut up. there from Quick Tongue. They're climbing their way up the hill now, but Slipstream is almighty powerful down the main straight, isn't it? Let's see if anybody can make it. What about Gisham? Is he close enough? And uh, not yet. I don't think he has enough. Sporting that Godzilla. And we'll go back to that battle a little bit further because Kremi Johns is putting on a bit of pressure. I don't think about an overtake right here. What do you think? That's a bit risking it for the biscuit there, isn't it, Alex? Yeah, that might cost him a position because Getsham is using all the ERS he can, as well as Creamy Johns. He pretty much has to expend all of his ERS to try to be able to make the pass. But yeah, Getsham is going. Oh, actually, does not commit to the to the overtake there. So he's going to. Creamy Johns seems like he might have gotten away with it. No, but actually, Getsham does get a faster exit here. But Creamy Johns defending the inside line as he is supposed to and still defends his position. So. Moriarty pretty much in a, in a weird position currently at the moment, but because he's kind of like not in DRS range, but also in, I guess, in a position where he can <laughs> next can upcoming corner. Much. Creamy John's trying to overtake from the outside, but unfortunately does not have enough track space to be able to do that. Covered so him off. Sean. Yep. Sean. Right now down the main straight. Can Fluffy Dad get it from Getsham? Oh, we'll, see. we'll see how it goes. I mean, they're both all using as much overtake as they can. Oh, but I think Fluffy Dave might get it because he, he's right behind Creamy John's. He unfortunately had to break a bit more compared to the person he's competing with, which is Fluffy Dave. So it's going to be a battle of who outbreaks the other so person. So what he wants to do is make those uh, soft tires get frustrated, mad, burn through them, so the mediums will be a bit better. Yeah, because I think if he loses, I guess kind of like the driver eccentric side of me here but oh creepy john's actually tries to do the overtake here in the outside i think he's got him now at this point oh he takes sean a little he's bit got wide. Him now at this point oh he takes sean a little bit wide oh loses a little bit of traction there a little bit of wheel spin and oh no he get, ends up hitting the t back tire of getsham and hits the wall on the retention wall and goes down to p11 so far and might actually get the p5 here in just a bit he does have the DRS from Sean Moriarty. I don't think Sean Moriarty has DRS. Oh, there's wheel tapping, wheel slapping. No Christmas cards available through the set of races at the moment. It's going to continue at the moment. Sorry, I got the sneezes there. Go ahead, Alex. You're going to call this. Yeah, that was Getsham. I'm trying to also get the overtake as well. So it was like behind uh, Sean there. And Chaz actually successfully defends the DRS from Sean Moriarty. So he actually uh, pretty much in a good spot. But like uh, we mentioned, it is seven lap old soft compound tires. I think this is hitting yeah, this the midfield battle at the moment between Sean and Getsham and everybody else in there. Everybody else basically at BBR is in this one right now in Tier 1. It's brilliant yep. to the set of races. So, so Getsham does to the get, set of races. So, so Getsham does get the overtake on Sean. Unfortunately, Sean had a uh, not so well exit onto the last sector there. Unfortunately, hit a little bit too much of the grass in the last turner the last corner and actually ended up getting a bit. I was going to say, you said somebody back it off. Red Hornet was not, my friend. He's ready to sting. He's ready to pounce. Yeah. That's like uh, someone, sh someone shook a tree and, uh, you know, it's starting to uh, shake. Faster compound tire here, but maybe might have been hanging out a little bit too much and maybe just say conserving resources. But no, actually, Double OT has 13% ERS compared to... One warning as well. Here we go. Ken Fluffy says Double OT, Double O time here. Give me a pay rise. It's Sundays, and you do get double overtime, don't you? And he got double overtime. Overtake on double OT. And Chaz is thinking about this in the background as well, too, my friend. Reverse and oh my gosh, there's a lot of pace going by Sean here. He's going to get the overtake on Getchup with very uh, with a lot of sp space available here to do the overtake. But does get a bad exit here and actually goes a little bit into Getchup. So actually, 
had to there because it might have caused a collision there but i mean sean was able to get the overtake here on the fry barging his way down through as well that's red horn at the stony yeah it's a, it's a very tough spot to try to overtake stony here. Yeah, it's a, it's a very tough spot to try to overtake here. Unless he tried to dive here. Oh, he might actually get the... No, I don't think he has the overtake here. Oh, there's a little bit of contact there. But he... Yeah, he, he has to back off. There's no way he can... Uh, Look how do the overtake. speed difference. Floppy Dave is almost like a sitting target. However, he can park that car, hopefully, in the right places. Go through the center races. He can. I don't think Shazzy had enough there. And they're going to have to follow each other. Yeah. Now, the second Dura zone. Is it going to be enough? They're coming up. I mean, yeah, they're, they can't really do as much with all that amount of uh, ERS available. If they want to make their move, they're going to have to have a, a little bit more stored energy into the ERS, maybe like around 20%, but that's going to take maybe a lap or two to recharge to that amount. ERS. Fluffy Dave is committing to some ERS to pretty much uh, compensate for the, the lack of DRS that he has compared to the other drivers to successfully defend these two drivers till the very end. Uh, Chaz actually gets a little bit of a better exit than double OT, but I think he is going to just stay in the back. Ooh, I'll, double the T gets a little bit of a... And pretty much being able to have enough momentum to actually even maintain him into this upcoming DRS section. I don't think he's going to have enough uh, ERS to defend here, but I don't think uh, double OT has enough yeah. to actually be... Is that Glock? It's not. It's double OT and Chaz, and it won't be a drag across the line. What do you think he's going to get yeah, it in time? Yeah, double OT loses the peak. Oh, I think he's going to get it. It's he gonna does be... get it there. It's oh, yeah. Have the transfer Chaz to be able to... Oh, no, it's oh. Chaz. We oh, he gets... Oh, he DNFs in the last lap. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, Cody. Lawrence there. Go ahead, Mr. Alex. Call the race finish here. Yeah, Cody Lawrence going into the final turn and sealing the next win into his record book here. Double OT and Sean Moriarty getting a P4 and P5, but get Shum and Stoney. It's going to be a photo face, photo finish onto the race. Stoney gets the DRS. Is it enough? Oh, he's trying to decide where side to go, and he does get it. <laughs> oh, well played. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, not, a, not a great weekend for the Alpine drivers, it seems like. Another so. trophy into his trophy cabinet. <laughs> yeah, we trophy cabinet, a trophy house. He's running out of space, my friend. I mean, I, I think I was speaking to, to Cody. Results yeah, for in, to Interlagos, please. Yeah, so the Cody Meister himself snags the victory with also the fastest lap with the 108.3 on P1. Perpetual Rain P2, uh, double OT P3. Really well done when it comes towards defending there.